hi everyone welcome back to my channel i am so happy that you could join me in this video i will be showing you how to do two new monogram designs in cricut design space so please stay tuned all right so now i am going to get my flower that i'll be using in this first monogram that i'll be showing you which is the surname or the family name monogram I'm resizing the image because I need it to be smaller and I also need two of them so what I'm going to do is to click on it and I'll duplicate and the duplicate can be found just above your layers on the right hand side of Cricut Design Space. The next thing I will do is to click on flip and flip horizontal. Next, I'll get a circle and I'll position it just right between these two flowers that I have here. And I'll just keep moving them around until they are positioned correctly. on the circle and I am going to be using the offset tool and what I'll do is to create an inset and I do this by clicking on the left hand side of that line which is which will take me into the negative position and I'll be creating an inset that is just a little bit smaller than the existing circle because i just want an outline you could also use another circle and use a slice tool to create it but i'm just using something different and i believe that the inset is more accurate in terms of the sizing and the placement than using another circle so i'm clicking i clicked on both of them and i slice and i hit the other section so now there you're seeing the outline. Now what I'll be doing next is to get the square tool and I'll unlock it. And you can do this by clicking in the lower left and corner. I'll drag it out in the shape of a line. And I'll position it at the bottom of these floors. Now I need two of them as well. So I will duplicate this as soon as I'm satisfied with the size of it. And once more, the duplicate can be found on the right hand side of your screen, just above where your layers are. Now, here I am positioning this other line just below my design. In the blank space that is created is actually where the family name or the surname is going to go. And in the circle now is where we'll be placing our initial. So here I am, I'm using the letter B as the initial to type in design space you click on the text tool and you'll just type and the text will appear on your design and from that menu you can change the size you can change the font and basically there are a number of things that you can do actually you can reshape it you can separate the letters, a whole lot of things that you can do in the this uh, the font menu once you click on it, or the text menu, sorry, once you click on the text menu. So, as you can see, the family name is Barclay that I'm using. You can say the Bartleys or the Campbells or the Millers or whatever it is that your family name is. Now, what I'm doing next is actually welding some sections of the design together. I will not be welding the text 
because I want to be able to change these letters and word, the letter and the word, to whatever I would like it to be. Alright, so some section of my design was in black and some was in grey. So what I basically did was to change everything into black to make it a bit more uniformed. And I will be showing you what it looks like on the mat so you can get a better picture of what we've done so far. Now, as you can see, the frame is separate. They're attached together and the letters are separated from them. Now what I will be doing is to highlight everything or to select everything and attach them together because I want them to cut out as one complete design and also once I've attached them I can go ahead and change the color of everything all at once unlike what I was doing before when I had to select them individually in order to change the color and as you can see you can basically choose any color that you wish and customize it as you please now for the other design which is the soccer ball or the football split monogram now i'm selecting this football here and i will be inserting it into my design most of the time i'll be refer referring to it as a football because in my country this is basically what we refer to it as football now that the football is there i will basically go to the shapes i'll select a square i'll unlock the square and i'll drag it across the section that i would like to create the split in this football here next i will weld the football and the rectangle that i've created together and if you have seen my previous video where I did a split monogram, you'll understand why I'm doing this. Next, I will get a second square and I'll unlock it once more and I'll form another rectangle by, un by dragging it out and I'll position it inside this existing one. However, it will be a little bit smaller than the one that was there before no i will not be welding these together again i'll select both layers by using the control key and i'll slice now that i've sliced what i'll be doing next is to delete the sections that i don't need or just to hide them and there you have it a football or a soccer ball split monogram now in this blank area that is created you can type just about whatever you want I am typing soccer mom and it's funny enough that we refer to it as a football but yet I am using the phrase soccer mom I think it's a popular phrase and many people can relate to it now I'll basically resize this text for it to fit into the space that I have here uh, it needs a bit of adjustment as it relates to the height so I'm going to be doing that as well now you see there it is fitting nicely into the design and this method that i showed you just now you can basically use it to split anything that you would want to split with it because it creates just a clean uniform split and it makes it basically adds a new element to your design because this is no longer just an ordinary football or soccer ball it's now a personalized one that you can add to a, sh a t shirt, a bag pack, uh, just a, you know what you can add it to, just about anything, just be creative. Now, I'm going to be showing you the other designs that I did 
in this one also my first uh, split monogram was also done on the same day however I decided just to create a separate video for that one because I did not want the video to be too long I did not want to bore you with too much talking either so I am very happy that you were able to watch this video and I hope that you found this tutorial very useful another thing I should have mentioned is that once you've attached the designs together you can basically resize all everything together so you can just click on it and resize it and everything will be sized to the correct proportion thank you so much for watching I do hope to see you next time and please subscribe to our channel if you have not done so and please hit that notification bell so you can be notified